just got this today. The Bay Jovi or Bon Jovi. Bayovi, however you pronounce it. BJ218 Radio. Now, exactly what is it? Ooh It's pretty much the mobile version of the Baofang. Let's do an unboxing. It's got instructions that are written in kind of English. It has things like, please obey following rules so that can avoid fire or harm radio or, or harm on person or damage on vehicle transceiver. When you are driving, please do not try to setting the vehicle transceiver. Otherwise, it will lead to dangerous consequences. A lot like marriage. It has a power cord to plug into your cigarette lighter. This particular model comes with a cord to program the radio just like how you have to program the Baofang. Miscellaneous screws will sit over there. A microphone. I mean, it doesn't feel like a cheap microphone. It feels pretty good. And of course the radio. So as I said earlier this is the mobile version of this, even though this is pretty mobile. But uh, I don't know how many watts this is. I think this is only 7 watts. This is 25 watts, and it's I'm going to mount it in my Jeep so I don't have to worry about batteries running dead and that all that stuff. Why would I go with this? Because I already have one of these. And now I can just program them the same. Uh, ham license required to operate this. It's illegal to use it on GMRS. But, you know, it's not illegal to own it. And I can own it and put it in my vehicle and listen to GMRS all day long on it. There's nothing you can do about it. There's, no There's nothing you can do about it. It's perfectly legal. Until I click the mic. And then I'm breaking the law. So if you catch me doing that, feel free to turn me in and I'll pay my fines and whatever. But you're not going to catch me doing it. I'm too slick for that. Alright, so uh, couldn't find out any information on how to install this, how to program it or anything. I'm assuming you use the Chirp software just like this. And uh, so before we go through the hassle of hardwiring it into my Jeep, the only vehicle I have with a cigarette lighter is my Nissan pickup truck, which doesn't have an antenna for this, but I'm gonna see if I can program it with my Chirp software. Well, programming it with the Chirp software, I just cloned my Baofeng and uh, just copied and pasted it onto the Bayoji or Bon Jovi 218, and uh, I cloned it pretty good. Cloned it damn good. Alright, so I want to make some changes to this thing. Uh, first thing is, I want to do away with this fuse, because I'm already going to have it on a fused circuit. I don't think I need a double fuse. Plus, that's kind of clunky. And I'm going to do away with this, and just hardwire it right into my fuse box. It's so tiny. Now we're going to install it in the Jeep. Couldn't find the on off switch on this thing. Here's a hint. It's right here in the center. See, off. 
on. This transmitter is serving the Piedmont of the Carolinas. Okay, I'm also thinking about putting an on-off switch up here. Or maybe over here. So I could turn my radio on and off. So I have it on a switch on my dash. And the one thing I don't like about it is when I turn it on, it makes that loud, deafening, this is that loud, deafening beep. I can't figure out how to turn the, the loudness of the beep down. It has a jack in the back for an external micro or external speaker. I don't think he's going to need it because this thing is pretty dang loud. And if I'm halfway deaf and if I say it's loud, then you know it's pretty loud. I don't know how to pronounce this radio. It's Bayoji Bon Jovi 218. Uh, I give it a thumbs up so far. It's good radio. I had my daughter walk down the street with... Uh, the Baofeng 5UR and we talked back and forth no problems but it was just about maybe a quarter of a mile the sound quality is pretty good I could hear her clearly she could hear me clearly I, I have no regrets buying it but using it as a GMRS radio it, it is illegal so uh, some of the nerds out there are gonna give give me crap and give you crap for having it but I could own it and I could listen to it it's as soon as I press this little button here that I'm breaking the law. And let's face it, I don't do it often. And I leave no witnesses. So come get me, lawman. I probably shouldn't have said that. It's, I think that's a threat. Meh, either way. All right, if you like what you see, give the thumbs up. If you don't like what you see, give the thumbs down. You got any comments to say, even uh, you guys that are going to blast me for having illegal radios. Go ahead and leave your comments down below. If you want to find out more about uh, GMRS and illegal radios and what makes them illegal, uh, check out this guy here, not a Rubicon production. I don't know if he knows what he's talking about, but he sounds like he knows what he's talking about. Got some time to kill? Check out this video here. Got some more time to kill, check out one of these other fine videos. If you really want to waste some time, check out my podcast, 10 Minute Off-Road Podcast. Uh, YouTube will put a fancy little card up here for it. Alright, thanks for watching.